Hello, my name is Sumin Chen. I'm with Bellarc, and we're going to show you today Bellarc's data analytics module and how it could be used to automate your software license process. Uh, stepping back a bit, uh, one of the most important things about software licensing, as we know, is to collect good data. And this is the architecture for uh, Bellarc's Bell Manage product that automatically collects data from all the host machines on a daily basis. 40k byte file is sent back to the Bell Managed server, database entries are created, and web based reports. The data analytics module then takes that Bell Managed discovery data, uh, matches it up with purchase records that can be sitting in SAP, PeopleSoft, or even Excel spreadsheets or in Bell Managed, and creates data analytics reports that we will show you shortly. So the Bell Managed Bell Managed Data Analytics reports are grouped um, by different license types. So we have reports for uh, per user um, and per uh, machine licensing. Uh, we call that the uh, cloud and desktop software products. We also have reports for specialized uh, products um, for companies such as Microsoft servers, uh, Oracle products, uh, and IBM PVU license products. So we'll show you all of those uh, in just a minute. Show you basically how this works. This is our cloud and desktop um, reports. This is uh, called the instances report. This is all automatically discovered uh, from your Bell Managed data, updated on a daily basis. And uh, as you know, um, products such as Visio and uh, Project are extra cost project products over Office. And uh, it would be awfully nice to know um, who is uh, using and who, more importantly, who is not using those products. So you don't have to buy additional seats, pay money uh, when you've already got unused product. So one of the ways to do that is very simply here. We can click here and type in uh, project. And we'll just pick project and project for office and bingo. All of a sudden we've got all the projects uh, and various additions uh, uh, and, and versions obviously and we want to see here who has actually not used it say for um, 90, uh, 180 days so say six months we go click these are all the instances that have not used it and if we want to actually show uh, which machines those are we go click here on the computer type and we'll show these are the machines that have not used project in uh, at least 180 days. It's literally that simple. Of course the other part we want to do is to be able to link um, these instances to what you actually purchased. So we actually automatically link those to um, purchase records. We'll pull those up right here. So in this case we have just uh, we can go up here and pick say for example uh, company uh, say Microsoft uh, and we can go back to uh, purchase product and we can say uh, project for example so we've got project and project for office we'll pick both of those bingo here we go let's see that may be a little bit small try to increase that size a little bit so what this has done is this has linked the uh, company uh, the product the addition uh, the version uh, is multiple versions here because we do have SA uh, the licensing rules in this report realize that you have downgrade rights for uh, this product and so you have multiple versions of, uh, of Microsoft uh, project here that's listed here in the lower table. Um, that's linked to the rights that come from the uh, purchase records, the purchase amount that comes from the purchase records. Uh, the computers uh, and users are automatically discovered from the discovery data. But this allows you to uh, immediately see your actual position uh, on a daily basis. So the discovered data is automatically updated daily. And your purchase record data uh, can be grabbed from your purchase repository if it's in a uh, ODBC uh, linked database such as uh, PeopleSoft or uh, SAP or even uh, Excel spreadsheets. Uh, it can pull those directly in here. Let me uh, now show you some of the uh, specialized reports. Uh, we mentioned uh, IBM. So again, this is similar. We have an instances report and we have a 
purchased uh, versus installed report. The instances report is automatically, uh, there's no manual effort here. This is all automatically gathered information. So uh, the product, the addition, versions, um, whether it requires a license or not, uh, this you can set, but very often um, on the uh, uh, IBM side, um, Bellarc is automatically discovering whether those are bundled cases in case um, this you may not actually need uh, to purchase a license, um, or it may be a development license, so that's at a different price. So that, that can be automatically discovered. Um, these are the servers. The way this is organized is this is a physical host running these VMs below it. And of course, you're licensing the physical host. And in this case, it's calculating the uh, PV use per core because it knows this uh, CP, uh, the processor CPU type make and model uh, cores used. And it's calculating both the full uh, capacity required PV use and the uh, subcapacity PV use. Obviously, in this case, you would want to pick subcapacity as long as you qualify. So this is all automatically calculated data done on a daily basis. And then, of course, it's linked to the uh, purchase records. So we have an IBM purchase versus installed report. And that, again, links it to uh, your purchase repository. That could even be an Excel spreadsheet. That could be in Bell Manage, or it could be sitting in another repository. So very similar, we have the, th the three uh, IBM products in this case, um, the additions, the versions, because the downgrade rights are listed down here. Uh, the rights come from the purchase records uh, installed. This is calculated automatically, and this is this is what's purchased. Again, keep in mind this is just an example. Let me now show you um, similar kinds of reports for um, Oracle. So again, we have the instances report, which is automatically calculated. And in this case, you might notice that this says server requires license. It says a lot of no's here. If you notice. These, these are for the options and management packs on this database. And keep in mind that um, if these options and packs, uh, they may be installed, but if they haven't been used, there's no license required. So Bellarc automatically discovers, uh, interrogates each database and discovers whether those options and packs have actually been used on that database. Of course, the, um, the database itself is licensable when it's installed. So that's, that's, a, that's a yes in this case. Uh, since it wasn't bundled also. So again, the same kind of uh, organization. This is based on a physical host running these VMs. Uh, the VM probably has a database. In this case, both instances do. Um, but it's calculated based on the physical machine. So this is all automatically calculated. Again, the core factors are picked up. The core is used to CPU types. And then we have a similar report where we compare this automatically gathered instances with the um, purchase records. So this pulls in your purchase records and automatically compares it to the uh, instances discovered and the license counts uh, calculated uh, in the previous report. And we do the same for um, Microsoft servers. Let me do the last one here. Server instances. So we have an instance report. These are the instances discovered, again, automatically. Uh, this again is a physical host running this VM. Uh, this is just running server type licenses. I could pull up all the core licenses too. Um, and uh, here might as well take a look at that. Let's look at let's look at the license type. Let's pick some core licenses, core and processor licenses, say for example, bingo. So these are our core. They're mostly SQL and Windows Server. These are our core and processor licenses. And these are automatically calculated uh, numbers. We can expand that a little bit, show you the calculation. But all of this is automatically discovered and automatically calculated based on the licensing rules. And the licensing rules are actually spelled out here in another tab that we're using on each of these products. So you can certainly read that. If you have questions, certainly uh, call us and we can discuss it. Um, but the licensing rules that are built into these reports are, are listed right there. And then we have the um, link with um, the discovered and the purchase records. So this is the Microsoft server products purchased versus uh, installed. I, I'm sorry, I should say that was a that's a report for Microsoft servers, not for the uh, desktop products, which come under the under the first report that we showed. And again, the same kind of an idea. 
uh, products, editions, version. Uh, the license types come from the uh, purchase records and the rights come from the purchase records, license required or not. And then it's installed on, this is calculated from the previous report and then uh, purchased and then it's done a simple comparison. So that's uh, it in a nutshell for um, uh, the analytics module uh, for software licensing. So as you see, um, you have reports available immediately, um, updated on a daily basis automatically. So there's no need to go to uh, your DBAs and your uh, local admins to find out uh, what uh, servers you have out there and which VMs are running on which physical machines, um, what their CPU counts are. All of that is automatically discovered and uh, shown to you on a uh, daily basis. So you have pretty much a licensed position on a daily basis. You can make decisions uh, on that basis. Very nice when you're spinning up new VMs. Um, a DBA may be spinning up a new VM and maybe not telling licensing that he did that. And it could have fairly large implications as you realize on your uh, license position. So this automatically updates that information on a daily basis. Thank you very much.